Hey guys, the secrets in BFA are already being discovered. Tell me, where's the secret in this picture? I'll give you three guesses. This cave up here, maybe behind this tree, or hidden behind these rocks. Well, you're all wrong. It's this pebble. Yeah, that's the essence of secrets in World of Warcraft now. You find a secret cave behind a secret path through another secret path to find a pebble. Well, this one in particular leads to a new battle pet called Ball, which I'll show you how to get step by step. Before we start here though, I just want to say that this was discovered by the Secret Finding Discord. The same guys from Legion with Kasumath the Hungering and the Mindworm and all of that stuff. They actually have a website now as well that I wanted to plug. It's called WarcraftSecrets.com and there you'll find a guide for this and many other secrets in World of Warcraft. I highly recommend it, it's a really nice website, so credits and kudos to those guys. For preparation, you will want to bring a few items with you. You'll need some gliders, an aquatic mount or a swim speed potion, water walking or a water walking mount, and possibly some invisibility potions depending on your class. You can get away without them if you're a rogue or druid, but if not, you'll want some skaggle drink, drainic invisibility potions, whatever gives you stealth. And to make it easier, you'll want two add-ons. One is TomTom, -tom, which is a map add-on that allows you to use custom waypoints, and the other is Paste, which allows you to enter multiple commands at once. You can find both of these in the description. Once you download them, make sure they're enabled and type slash paste show and then paste in the following waypoints for TomTom. -tom. I'll also have these in the description. And lastly, you'll also need a fully upgraded Una, which is a secret companion from Legion. I'll talk about that at the end of the video. And one last random tip is to disable war mode so you don't get ganked when you're trying to complete this. So, your starting point is the Nazmir zone in that giant blood hole in the middle. Get to this spot on the map until you reach a giant bridge that leads to a big temple in the middle. Once you cross, on the left hand side on a ledge, you'll notice a clickable node. You'll want to get near the ledge above it and jump down to it. I used a glider as you can see. Upon clicking it, you'll get a curious message telling you to begin at the beginning. The first big secret in Legion you may remember was Kasumath the Hungering, and that all started with Drekthul in the Broken Shore, which is our next destination. So get over here on the map, the coordinates are 3771, and hover your mouse around the table until you find a clickable pebble. Click on it to reveal another message that says the pebble is unremarkable in every way. And from here, it's a massive scavenger hunt for super hidden pebbles around Kul Turas and Zandalar. Very similar to the Kasumath orbs. The next one is located in the Aligned City, which is Boralis. Get to this spot on the map and look for a fishing net draped under a bridge. You'll find that you can actually go through it and you'll find a secret cave behind it. On the floor near the middle of the room is your next pebble, so go ahead and click on it. Pretty simple. The next one is in Zoldazar, and it's pretty complicated to explain, so I'll just show you my footage. Just keep in mind that you will need a glider or some sort of slow fall. As a starting point, head to the entrance of the Ataldazar dungeon and just follow what I do here. Once you arrive, you'll find the actual pebble next to this tree. 
The next pebble can be found in the Drustfire Zone. Head on over to Aram Strand at this location and carefully jump down from this ledge to find a hidden cave behind a waterfall. Inside, you'll find one of these dressed effigies. The pebble is located on its head. The next one is located all the way in Voldun near the Tortaka Refuge. Follow this path up and drop down to the rocks next to the tree. There's another cave right here with an elite enemy near it. It'll one-shot you, so you either need to crowd control it, stealth, or invisibility potion. The pebble is on the left side here, facing him, kind of next to the green area. And the next one is located in the Stormsong Valley on this northeastern island. Get to this point on the map and wall climb up until you get to this foliage. Behind it is another cave. Follow the path down until you reach the fork in the road and look inside this cart for the next pebble. The next one is the toughest because it's in fatigue waters and you have to be really fast. For this one, you need a water walking mount and fast swim speed. This can be an aquatic mount such as the Fathom Dweller, a swim speed potion, the Druid's water form, and etc. So, once you have all of that sorted out, head on over to the northern Nazmir zone. Those waypoints I have in the description will also be vital, so make sure you use them. Get to this spot right here on the map, and head straight north on a mount with water walking. Once you're on or near the green waypoint, dive down and get on your underwater mount or use your potion and look for a wrecked ship. You'll be taking fatigue the whole time, so you gotta be quick here. On your way here, try to identify the back of the ship. The pebble is on the stained glass picture, and it's the second one from the left. If you fail, you'll have to take resurrection sickness and try again, so this one is kind of rough. If you're successful though, the next stop is Boralus again. On the western side of the city here is a hedge maze. Enter it and stick to the left until you reach a dead end with a tree. Behind it is a cellar with some off-duty guards, and the pebble can be found between some crates next to some bookcases. And next up is Drestfar on the Western Watch Island. You will need a glider for this one. Get to the island and stick to the left in the fork in the road, and take the first right you see until you reach the base of the lighthouse. Going to the edge, you can barely see a cave entrance to your right. Use your glider and curve right and you should easily reach it. Facing the entrance to the left on top of the rock is the next pebble. Almost there, just four more left. The next one lies just south of the Kenning's Lodge, once again in Tiragard. The path starts right here on the outskirts of the town. Climb these rocks up and keep ascending until you see a cluster of trees. If you look closely, there's another cave here. Be careful though, because one of those Krolusks will jump out and one-shot you, so make sure you have another invisibility potion if you're not a stealther like me. The pebble for this one is located next to this mead between these two big rocks. It's to the left facing the Krolesk. And the next pebble can be found in the same zone, but all the way to the northeast. Get next to this cave where I am and do a bit of rock climbing, making sure to hang to the left hand side. From here, do a short jump to the rocks next to a waterfall and proceed forward to find a secret room behind it. There are a bunch of decoy pebbles here, but the only clickable one can be found under a scroll at the end of the room. You'll have to do some tricky camera work to see it. And next is yet another one in Tiragard. West of Boralis in the lake, head to about right here on the map and look for this rock formation. Behind all of the vegetation is an underwater cave with the next pebble. You can find it under some red seaweed next to three stalagmites. And for the last pebble, head on over to the Voldoon zone once more. This one is in the Great Sea north of the zone, so we'll be dealing with fatigue again. 
Just like the other one, you will need water walking and fast swimming to do this one. Using those waypoints I gave you, find the starting point right here in the map, and look at your world map to see the one labeled Fatigue Reset Zone. Make a straight line to that waypoint, and you should pretty easily make it. You can actually see the Fatigue Rest Zone on your mini-map. It's the lighter shade of blue. From here, you want to go northeast along this water, making sure you're not in fatigue, and once you reach the edge, once again check your world map to find the waypoint for the underwater cave. You can see it from non-fatigue water, so get on your mount or whatever swim speed increase you have and make a beeline for it. Once you arrive, head deep into the cave to reset your fatigue, and you'll find that there are hundreds of pebbles this time. But they're all decoys, so return to the entrance, and facing the exit on the right hand side on the floor is the last pebble. Clicking on this one reveals the following message. Heckler of the murkiest thugs, sheathe your bat and remove the keg cork. What? These four words on the second line reveal an anagram that says get back to work, which is the dialogue of an NPC called Kirkthuk the Merciless in the Frostfire Ridge Zone in Draenor. He periodically yells it. Yeah, people actually figured that out. It's crazy, I know. Located right here though, inside a volcano is the Goat Ball, who is otherwise invisible if you don't do all of this pebble hunting. You can pet battle him by clicking on him, but there's just one problem. He don't play, and he'll one-shot anything you have, even through immunity buffs. So, to get around this, you have to first debuff him outside of the pet battle by summoning a fully upgraded Una. This is another secret companion from the Legion expansion. You got her from the Argus Zone, and you had to do a bunch of secret steps to unlock her and power her up by collecting items for her. I won't go over all of that here since it's quite intricate, but I'll have a link to a guide to all of it in the description. So, you have to have a fully upgraded Una, and you have to bring her to Ball to weaken him. Alternatively, if you have a friend who already did all that stuff, you can just have them summon Una for you. Although, they still need to click the pebbles to see him. And from here, he has just a thousand health, which is pretty trivial to beat. You can do it with pretty much any pet you have, as long as it's level 25. Note that this can glitch out for some reason, and Una will just stand there sometimes. This happened to me, and it was only fixed after someone used the gastropod shell toy, which kills critters and resets them. You get it from the Throne of Thunder raid in Pandaria. Upon beating him though, you get the ball's dark sign item, which gives him to you as a pet. If you summon him, he says that soul feast on endless shrieking, in darkness they writhe and scream, you will join them together forevermore. This leads to another secret that gives you a cosmetic item called the waste of time, but that's a story for another time. I'll have a link to a text guide to that in the description though if you want to check it out. That's about it though, it's a pretty neat secret. Again, credit to the Secret Finding Discord. If you'd like to join the search for the next one, I'll have those links in the description. As always, thanks for watching, I hope you found the video helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Farewell for now, mortals. We hope you enjoyed today's video. See you again soon.